The dark winter came after the first pandemic, and while everybody was paralysed from fear of the virus, we had something far greater that we were unprepared for. Cyber Polygon was the largest cyber attack ever to be executed. The world's internet was collapsed intentionally, and all of our rights to information were cut off. Banking, medical records, all databases were heavily attacked. Power grids were shut down, businesses were finished. Economies collapsed, forcing us closer and closer to the Great Reset. Most were not prepared for this annihilation and were now frozen within the illusion of democracy. The puppets performed on stage while we watched impassively. We had entered the dark winter without any awareness. When the attack finally came, it moved at lightning speed. The military were brought in to keep order on the streets to assist the understaffed police. With the huge cut in funding, institutions broke down, resulting in a worldwide loss of confidence in government. People fought amongst themselves, and countries were close to a civil war. Many people died due to the civil unrest, and the casualties were out of control. The world was in a state of international emergency. You had to fight for yourself over those years. Economies had fallen, and unless you were self-sufficient, obtaining food was difficult. People had relied so much on the old system that when the rug was pulled from under our feet, we didn't realise what had happened. We were not prepared for those months. They had brought the attack forward as the few of us who had awoken started to reveal the mechanics to this evil. The algorithms inside the control rooms had told them that they had to attack us now. People's stupidity and denial of truth kept the majority running in the gerbil wheel. Most just fell into an even deeper sleep. We had fully immersed ourselves into their narrative, digesting and living the script they had planned for a very long time. So many just blindly followed, lost in a heavy, suffocating, all-encompassing darkness. They created the money, they created the problems. They then created a solution that only limited us further. They used the excuse that the money isn't available to solve those problems, so we ended up caught in a whirlwind of dramas that stifled our human evolution. The creators of that money wanted control of our consciousness, and they would do everything to stop us. No one was going to save us from this horror. No leader could sufficiently lead us. We were emerging slowly, but would we change in time? We could only lead ourselves, but most people had been broken down by the constant abuse of control. We had to come together and find ways to connect but most locked their houses and kept themselves barricaded in. The ones that were trapped in the cycle of fear were the ones that perished. When we stood strong, understanding our true power, this could not affect us. Your life is your human sovereignty. Each life is crucial. Each life must be questioned. When do you give your power away? Where do you feel powerless?